Hello, and welcome to this 15th video on using Blender for video editing. In this session, we're going to talk about how to add borders to your to your video. So whether it's uh, borders on the side or on the top and bottom or all of it. And for kicks, we can uh, add on top of that, not just black borders, but borders of any color you want using the color strip that we learned about in a previous video. So let's get started. I'm just gonna drag and drop a video in and jump up a little bit so we can actually see it because it was it started on a black frame. Um, next thing to do is go into the properties editor because we're going to need this. Um, with the video strip selected you can either manually punch in the correct dimensions so that your scene matches uh, to that or we can go to strip and set render size to have that done for us. Now Here's the part where you have to decide how much border do you want. So let's say, for example, in this demonstration, we will do um, just the left and right and for 30 pixels on each side. So the first thing to do is we go to our X resolution inside the properties and just add 30 plus 30 or 60. I could do the math in my head. I mean, I, I could, but uh, I'm going to be lazy and then just have Blender do it for me by typing plus 60, press enter, and it does the calculation for me. Now, you probably noticed that in our preview window, um, it didn't add a black borders, and it just stretched it out. And that's because we need to adjust some settings on the video strip. So now we just scroll down a little bit here in the properties of the video strip, and here where it says image offset, just check that. Now that you've now that it's checked, you can see that there's now like a, a checkerboard uh, texture of sorts on, along the the right side of the video, and that's Blender's way of telling us that in in what we can see right now, there's there's some nothingness, and that that will be uh, if we were to render it right now, that'll that'll be black in color. Um, we can talk about doing the color bit later. Let's center it. So the easy way of centering is just keep in mind what the borders um, what uh, the borders are supposed to be. We said 30 on each side, so that means uh, that means if we want to offset this our video by 30. So I just type in 30, and now it should be perfectly centered in our uh, in our scene. And um, like I said, it will be black if we render this out. But what about if we wanted to give it a color? Let's say I wanted it to be purple. All right. So the way to do that is to add a color strip. So go to strip. No, sorry, not go to strip. Go to add, effect strip, and color. And by default, it's black. So to change that, we have to have it selected and find the spot where it has the color setting. And then we can use adjust that brightness and then pick our color nice purple there okay so now we have our purple color but uh, because the uh, color strip got added to a higher channel than the actual video that's all we see right now so we need to move the video strip up no problem just right click on it you can press G to grab and start moving it and then bring it up higher now you'll notice though that it's um, it's, it might be hard to bring it up without making it go back and forth. The easy fix for that is pressing the Y key. Is it the Y key? The Y key, yes. The Y key will lock your movement to just the up, down, the Y direction, the Y axis. Right. So now you can see I can move my mouse all the way across and that won't affect anything. It's still just going up and down. And for your information, if you, if you wanted to move things across without changing the channel, the, then you would have to press the X key. All right, so I've locked it. I pressed left click to finish that, but we're not quite done yet because you can see that um, we have the the purple. Which actually, let me drag that across so to there. So now that covers our range mostly, uh, but we can't see it here, and that is because there's one more thing we need to do. Uh, right click to select on the video strip, and scroll all the way up to the top where you see it says blend. Uh, cross isn't going to do it for you. What you can use instead is overdrop. And there you go. There's a bunch of options there that you can use. So you could also do alpha over. Honestly, I don't know the difference. Uh, overdrop seems to work in most cases. So just go with that. 
or, or alpha over, um, that's what I used to use. Uh, and there you go. So now uh, if I drag across, if I scrub across, you can see we've got our nice purple borders and this is exactly what it'll, it'll look like when you render out. So there you have it, adding borders, um, adding to um, to the top and bottom. It works in a similar fashion. You just have to uh, adjust the Y resolution. And you know, what? let's go ahead and do that. Let's just say we want uh, 50 on uh, up and 50 down for whatever reason. And then we'd have to go to our strip, go down to where we have our offset, and punch punch in 50. And there you have it. So now we've got uh, not you know 30 on each side, left and right, 50 on the top and bottom, and that's adding borders. So um, have fun with that if that's what you want to do. And we'll see you next time. Bye now.